Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Let me know if it starts doing that again. If it starts doing it again, I might have to kill the stream already. It might be good now. I just reset my console. It might have been a sleepy PS5. Why would you quote my mic check? <laughs> okay. A couple of these matches are being changed. Oh my god, I have to remake the 8-woman match again. Um, I'm just going to make the, ta the world tag t uh, match be the main event here. Because we do need to have that so we can move on towards Cyber Sunday to figure out what the uh, rivalry is going to be. Um, additionally, because I I'm also putting Brett um, in contention for the United States Championship. But... Um, Okay, let's try this again, huh? Man, I was telling some really funny jokes, too, but you guys will never hear them now. Oops. So, um, just, just pretend I said stuff that was really, really witty and stuff. Oh, never mind. I, I didn't miss anybody. I thought um, Cherry and Ash were the highest on the women's division in terms of prestige, but I'm like, Jordan Grace is way up there. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that... Should be a brutal, brutal match. <laughs> Sarah Bear randomly just laughing. <laughs> All right, yeah, Drippy, uh, if you want to post um, the changes in um, on Discord. If you go to uh, Caw Updates, I'm, I'm willing to fix that for you. If that's, um, since that's just a legitimate, um, you just uploaded it and forgot to do the correct thing. Um, and in the future, though, it does, um, uh, it does cost points, and it can only be done the week of the pay-per-view. But um, since it, it was your debut match and you just, you know, didn't have something set right, I'll, I'll fix it for you, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I won't forget you got one. <laughs> Actually, I think we're going to have a couple challenge matches here on Adrenaline, too. <laughs> Which is good, because um, we've been getting backed up a bit here. Um... Wait, why is Goth...
Why is Gothopotamus? I thought I could have sworn Gothopotamus was on ignition. I put Gothopotamus in the match on ignition. I just completely botched that apparently. Oh well. I'll have to uh, remember that for next time. Okay. Let's look at our challenge matches. Um, Q-Balls was trying to make a tag team two weeks ago, and he never answered me about who he wanted as his partner. I'm going to refund his points now, but if he ever mentions anything about a partner, it's because I didn't know his partner wanted he wanted his partner to be. Um, also, Xavier was trying to go for the hardcore title. Um, for certain reasons, he can't get that. I'm refunding his points. Uh, Hazard can get his hardcore title shot. Uh, actually, I think we'll do that here. That has been waiting the longest. Okay, so it's just uh, Alex Kidd versus Q Money is the opening match. We got three championship matches here then. Well, actually, Alex Kidd is on ignition. Actually, I'm not going to do this yet. This is going to have to be on hold still. This will have to be on... It'll probably be on Warzone then, because it's just cross-brand. Even though the tag title match is the main event, but... <sighs> oh, I contradict myself so much. Okay. I try, but, you know. Poe Buddy's nerfed. Why can't I see the full thing right now? There it is. I do kind of like the hardcore champion having to go to the other person's show to face him, but yeah, I'm, I'm still happy with that. Okay, um, Eddie is on Ignition. Uh, FJ Nation. Uh, actually, well, FJ Nation has a match already. Lee Johnson has a challenge match. Uh, Shine McKay. Well... Oh, actually, Brett did have an open challenge. You know, what? we'll do the hardcore championship match first. We'll do it still. had to cancel again because Q Money was going to be in that other match too. I never set up a five-way extreme rule match elimination. I'm going to make another table match because I'm not backing out again. Is um is the stream uh bu doing that buffering thing anymore by the by any chance again? <laughs> we got Madcap Thulu, Ray Dunleavy. I'm surprised Madcap is, doesn't have a higher overall. He's been winning a lot. <laughs>
the hell are you talking about, Crass? We're going to save um, challenge matches for uh, Warzone. If we end up needing to have one more match, we could change this one right here. But otherwise, it, we're just going to skip that one, probably. <laughs> Got three championship matches here. No, we don't. Two. I took one out. I'm getting tired. Counting's hard, though. I mean, really? Like, it's there's, like, such, like, a small difference between two and three, you know? I mean, I'm not, like, a math scientist or whatever. All righty. And the winner here will be the new number one contender for the Roulette Championship, currently held by Josh Evans. <laughs> Hey, L1, who is, um, who, who is your partner again? I mean, what, what, what's the person's Twitch name? And was he in here earlier? I'm uh, not going to have a prediction for this one. No entrances, let's do this. Yeah, Brian Hardick is the name of the cop. What was the, the Twitch name? I just, just probably. Oh, actually, it was the person had Brian in their name. Never mind. Actually, you probably have Brian debut next then, but I'm not sure. We'll have Brian debut next. I have to back out if this is over. So this is a five-man table match. Elimination rules. Oh, thanks, Brett. I think we have to get that bonsai drop away from Madcap. I'm tired of him sitting on everybody. Warner power bomb. <laughs> Lee fell all funny. So um, we did have a uh, five-man elimination table match at um, Bash of the Beach, which was a brutal match. So many tables, so much table debris all over. It was all said and done. Wow, he just sent Madcap Thulu flying. The Madcap just kicked the table over out there. Actually, it's their double axe handle in the back of the Hardcore Champion. Yeah, that uh, Hardcore Championship match is going to have to happen on Warzone. By the way, part of the reason uh, we need, need to have the tag uh, title match here tonight on Adrenaline was uh, we've been waiting for Paul Justice to have his uh, challenge match against me for 
quite a while now. Caden Hall, thanks for the follow. How you doing, buddy? But, um, yeah, I, I probably need to stop putting that match off. So the tag title match tonight will be good. A good main event for the stream. First table has been brought into the match. Kick to the side of the head of the monster. How crazy would it be if that was what put Q Money through the table? Q Money and Ray Dunley be battling right next to this table. What's up, KOP? It, oh my God, that would have been an amazing table break if, if he got that to work somehow. Oh, Martin Lee's in trouble. Oh my God, what the hell was that? I have never seen a super kick through a table like that. I think Madcap was going for a, a coin toss. Martin Lee has been a bit officially eliminated, by the way. That super kick, the impact still drove Martin Lee through the table. Uh, Flashbang versus KOP has not happened, which is um, actually what, what I was just talking about. Um, the tag title match will happen, the main event of Adrenaline here tonight. Look at Ray Dunley, the German suplex again to the monster. Axe Ishtar bringing it. Table and Q here comes Q Money with one too. Oh my God! Well, that was interesting. He pushed two tables into the ring at the same time. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And here comes the third table. Wow, he slid it under Axe. That was interesting. Oh my God! Onto those tables. Oh my God, that's got to be painful. God, look at all these tables, man. And Q Money, that roundhouse kick to the face of Ray Dunleavy. And that German suplex onto the table debris. Q Money, that. Shot to the back of Axe Ishtar with the table. Looks like that table kind of cracked a bit. And Q Money. Look at this. Oh my god! Q Money with a Hurricanrana. It was mainly Madcap's leg that went through, but Madcap has been eliminated. That was a very unique table break. It's crazy, the two uh, FTU veterans have uh, been the first two to be eliminated here. And he'll come back from under the apron. Climbs back inside. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Look at Ray Dunleavy now. Oh my God. Package pile driver onto the table. One of these three men will get a shot at the Roulette Championship against Josh Evans. He can't take any more of this. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. He saw it coming, taking advantage. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Able to reverse. Well, Axe in a dangerous spot, but no one was there to capitalize on him. Oh! Well, that table broke, but he actually kicked it. There's no elimination there. That was very interesting. He kicked the table and broke it. Axe Ishtar, if he tapped, uh, 
Nothing uh, would have happened there. He's still uh, showing he has no quit, though. And Hammerlock back suplex. Well, there's uh, there's one table off to the side of the ring, but looks like it's about to fall off the apron. Brutal triple threat that's left here. I think they're going to have trouble getting that table off the apron there. And Dunleavy, once again, that package pile driver. I'm a hardcore champion. Oh, my God. Oh, that table's finally fallen off. I love that the table debris just all stays in there, too. It makes it look so hardcore and brutal. The legs get all bent up. Well, that figure four, who Axistar's made a lot of people submit with that in FTU. Of course, there's no um, submission here, so even if he taps, he's not eliminated. Even Q Money's still fighting back. And oh my god. All three of these guys is getting brutalized. Again, though, it doesn't matter how hurt you are, it just matters if you go through a table or not. Nice amateur Ow. That spine buster on the legs of the table. Need fluorescent bulbs. Well, Axe Ishtar is submitted there, but he's not eliminated. Wrestling games used to have so much more violent stuff in it. Used to be able to, like jump off of the of the ladder of a helicopter and shit. Hit people with a forklift. The old ECW games had uh, barbed wire matches. Big slam on Dunleavy right on the legs of that table and Q Money set him up for that roundhouse kick again. He hit him with this earlier. Oh my god. Where'd that table go? Did it just shoot out of the ring? Jesus. There's so much room for injury here. Oh my god, oh my god, on the table. Oh my god. And he's been busted open from that too. That was actually a pretty brutal landing. Like it, the, his gut landed right on the side of that table. Damn, Axe Ishtar got planted, man. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Oh, Axe back up at a, that perfect timing, pretty much. Up and down, what a cord buster. Oh, this could Once again, going for that figure four. But again, the figure four doesn't really do that much. He, he needs to get him up and put him through that table. And Ray is tapped. He might may have just wanted revenge for uh, Dunleavy making him submit earlier. Nephew Outlaw Mud Show. Jumping off the fist and the King of the Ring chair. Yeah, you were able to do lots of cool stuff. He's 
switches it back around. Answering back. It, oh my god, he went for that cutter again, but I think Dunleavy actually kind of uh, saved him a little bit. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. WWE Deathmatch. Well, Q Money having trouble picking up that table, apparently. It's been down to these three for a while now. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And he's taking this. Oh, my God. He gets back into the ring. That was a unique Samoan drop. I don't even think I've seen that before. Zoro is a cute little Pokemon, by the way. The little, like, little black fox looking thing. You might need another big German suplex. That announcer table has been cleared off. That does legally count as a table, to my knowledge. Wow, he actually drop kicked the ring apron. We heard it connect too. Oh my god, that spear! He may have just saved Dunleavy from being eliminated. Dunleavy in danger zone still. Oh my god, he oh my god, how close was that? And now Dunleavy that knee lift. Axe was going for the elimination for sure. And now Dunleavy. Now Dunleavy. German suplex through the table. Q Money saved Dunleavy from being eliminated. Now it's down to Ray Dunleavy and the hardcore champion Q Money. One of these two will face the roulette champion Josh Evans for the roulette championship next week. Sitting near the ring post. They should make uh, certain people be able to have traits where if they get eliminated like that, they go crazy and attack everyone. Q Money, that kamikaze dive to the outside. Usually that misses. Q Money right on target. Oh my god. Combination of strikes on Q Money. Hey, what's up, Xavier? That's oh, a mission hold. Dunleavy still not tapping here, but could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Oh, 
the barricade. God, what a brutal table match this has been. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Uh, we actually had to delay that championship match. Um, we there's apparently some stuff we need to go over uh, regarding Miles Dixon, but um, but that match is uh, at least on hold right now. When suplex on the floor, is there even any tables left in the arena? He's taking this to the floor now. I am on the counter. That might be what gets him out of jeopardy. He'll take things into the ring. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is... They need a table, man. Up. Am I going to have to go get a table for him? Shots to Q money. I think this may have happened in a, a match like this before, didn't it? Where I had to go fetch them a table? Maybe. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. I'm going to actually take it, just jump in right now while he's doing that. Holy crap, I haven't played in so long, I don't even remember how to get out of the ring. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. It's a table. I'm not sure what he's scheming. But it can't be good. Absolutely no telling what's underneath. It got a glitch. Um, it happened last time too. Not last time, um, but I think it happened in the women's division last time. Um, but they just they basically would not never pick up a table. Well that submission hold, the X made Axe Ishtar submit with us earlier. And Q money submitted. He's get him through a table though. He's setting his table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. Don Levy looking to put Q money through that table. It's spine buster. Uh oh, Dunleavy fighting by, fighting back at the last possible second before he got to that table, and now Q money in trouble. Q money in trouble. Incredible striking combination. That was close. I feel like that leg sweep almost made him collide with that table. Oh, that should be it now. He just keeps going for strikes though. Delivering all these strikes to the hardcore champion. He needs to try to put him through the table, though. Q-Money hasn't countered anything in a while. He's <laughs> trying to strike something through the cable like he's mad, mad cat. Oh, well, Q-Money with the counter. Dunleavy's doing so well right now. Q1, he seems hurt. Ooh, right on point. Commentator's curse. Oh, combo. How quick is he with those strikes? Well, going for that submission again. 
Rollins won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the pro. And the anguish on his face continues. Tapping out isn't going to save him here. Oh, right in there. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Q money. Look back at that amazing action. Here is your winner, Q Mondo. They're happy to win, but I think even happier to avoid going through a table. A tables match takes its toll, but they were able to pull out the win here. Defying the odds, accomplishing the seemingly impossible, that's what elimination matches are all about. Check one, two. I wasn't muted. I think the maybe the mic stopped working for a sec. Okay, um. Alrighty, Fabulon versus Brian Hardegg. <laughs> Man, that was a brutal table match. It's interesting that I feel like um, Q Money's having a very, very similar career that Brian Quinn had, where like he wins like mid card title shots and stuff, but it's it's pretty like it's a huge deal when he does. But other than that, he's generally just in the hardcore title division. I mean, a lot of it is just how he books his career, but um, but yeah, pretty interesting. Anyway, Brian Hardake makes his FTU debut here against Fabulon. Best of luck. Welcome to FTU.
classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. significance of this match. This is an opportunity to make big headway on the roster. Coming into this fight, his opponent's been boasting a new, more aggressive attitude. We'll have to see if that new approach will produce any dividend. He's able to fend off the attack. Oh, a kick to the face. <laughs> oh, look at this here. Ryan Harding, big elbow drop from the second rope. Uh, yeah, we'll try to do uh, Rosalie's return sometime soon, buddy. An arm bar here on Fabulon. Oh my god, what a kick. I feel like Jerry the King Lawler would have so many uh, little zingers for Fabulon. Actually, probably not, but he was here earlier. But that's a good call. Actually, I didn't really think about that. Stiff forearm shot. He reverses it. We needed another match anyway. And playing DDT. I'm going for a cover here. Going, getting some offense in here. Ryan Hardick's a pretty cool car, though. I like his gear and stuff. And, oh my God! What of that big kick? But he got he got blocked. Oh my God! Now Fabulon. Are you kidding me? Hit DDT to Brian Hardick. Oh my god. Shoulders are down here. Shoulders are down here and Hardy gets the shoulder up. Not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept. Well, that super kick, will that do it? Will that do it? Oh my god, he almost got him. Oh my god, what a shot. What a shot to the face. Heartache. Set up Fabulon here. And oh my god. Planting him on the spine. Oh my god. Fabulon still kicked up. That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. The cuddle buster. Well, Fabulon's looking pretty solid here tonight. Another phase buster. Will that do it? Apparently his foot was under the rope. Insulting. 
amount of offense against him here. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. Oh, oh my God. Thrust kick to the face. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, targeted the arm. This has got to hurt. Heartache. Cross body. Leg is hooked. And Heartache got him. Heartache wins his debut. Alrighty. Place your bets for this one. Thomas Payne, one on one with the new world heavyweight champion, Cluck. I'm going to use this as an opportunity, by the way, to remind you that there's only one man in the FTU that is a world champion. So I'm just joking. Alrighty, place your bets. Thomas Payne versus Cluck.
Gentlemen, you are looking at a man who is sick of the doubters, sick of being questioned about his potential. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with the belt is. I thought I put the belt back on the line, but maybe I didn't. I'll have to make sure that that uh, is fixed before next stream. Oh, clock. The lion salt there. We have heard um, who we think maybe Cluck's first challenger for the World Heavyweight Championship. Which is uh, BGS from the Arisen. He has stated his intention to be uh, Cluck's challenger at Cyber Sunday. Thomas Payne going up top. And oh my god, that big double stump. I think uh, Thomas Payne was actually one of the people that Cluck choked out. He, he made four top competitors in Adrenaline submit with that cross face shot. Uh, that uh, that uh, chicken wing submission. That animal claw actually just had a pinfall on Payne. Thomas wins, I'm drinking one beer. If he loses, I'm drinking two. I might have a, a beer after uh, the stream's over. I, I have a new rule, though, that I don't I don't drink during um, F2 streams. I used to, but I don't anymore. A thrust kick. And Thomas Payne now. A knee lift. Right to the beak. And Cluck still gets the shoulder up. Payne looking for the Red Baron, looking to defeat the new World Heavyweight Champion right here. The Red Baron, he got the knees up. Cluck got the knees up. And, oh my god, I wasn't expecting that, and I don't think Thomas was either. Big clothesline. Cluck just picked him up and bit slapped him. And that flying headbutt. Leg is hooked. And Payne still kicks up. Yeah, Cluck has some cool new gear. Oh, is that Hulk Hogan on his boots? Well, that atomic leg drop. That flying headbutt again did not connect this time. Ain't taunting the world heavyweight champion. Think got uh, Payne was feeling super kick right there, but Cluck caught him. Payne with the counter. Diving versus DDT. And Payne going up top. And that double stomp again to the World of Weight Champion. Center of the ring. Will that do it? Will that do it? it he's, that was so close. Well, if he hits the Red Baron, it's over. And Red Baron connects the clock. One, two, and Cluck still kicked up. What does Thomas Payne have to do to put Cluck down? Oh my God, misses the lion salt. Cross body. What a freaking match. Yeah, Thomas Payne now. And that big kick to Cluck. Great wherewithal on the counter. Simple but effective 
I make a leg drop again. It's interesting that, that that the referee does not go for a pinfall cover when he does that, but. That flying headbutt again. Connecting to the sternum of Thomas Payne. One, two, and oh my god, man. Well, Cluck. And people's elbow. Frankensteiner. It almost got him again. Uh, I still need to change that KOP. Uh, post on uh, Discord what you want me to change it to, please. Running shot there. Uh, post that in car updates, please. As well as uh, updating it in your, your faction and active faction. Knee drop. How much high risk is Payne gone for in this match? And the Red Baron connects again. That is it. That is it. One, two. Thomas Payne has defeated the World Heavyweight Champion. Non-title match, but huge win for Payne. What 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 I miss? Alrighty. Well, it is now time for the United States Championship to be decided. I do have to change Trevor's name to just Trevor, by the way, but that wasn't high on my priorities for updates today. Knox officially, um, actually, I have to change. I don't think we updated his, um, we have to update his command, too. Unless it's actually, unless we already updated it. Oh, Brett must have did that. Um, I'm going to update his FC right now because he's spending his FC. Oh, wait, what? Oh, maybe... Oh, my bad. Okay. It wasn't updated. Brett just said at the same time as me. Okay, apparently he's changing his name to Trevor, so we'll have to update that too, but... But yeah, his FC is at 1 out of 6 now. Anyway, place your bets. Reigning United States champion knocks the challenger. Place your bets. Championship is on the line. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. <laughs>
Introducing the challenger, standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 362 pounds, Trevor N. And introducing the champion from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 263 pounds, he is the United States. Champion, T.J. The Scorpion, Ward. With this championship title in play, you can expect this match to be something special. All right. I think this is actually TJ Ward's first uh, title defense, isn't it? He won this championship uh, just before bragging rights. He went on to represent Adrenaline as the United States Championship at the bragging rights event, which he actually won his match. And then um, at Bash in the Beach, he uh, was involved in the eight-man uh, Elimination World Heavyweight Championship match. Which uh, he did not get the win, but still the current United States champion. This is his first defense, though, defending against the seven foot tall Trevor Knox. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Oh, the challenger's looking shaken. Uh, TJ Ward's uh he's been booked with uh with other stuff so oh, oh my god went for uh 
Some high risk, didn't get it. TJ Ward still getting a lot of shots in on the challenger. Quick shots. He had it scouted, producing a trampling. He's heading up top, thinking big. Well, look out. Knox, big body splash. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Here's a pin for the title. For a cover on the champ. Still way too early. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Uh, FJ Nation, if uh, if you're on a title shot, by the way, even if you lose that, um, uh, you need you just need to start collecting FC. That's the main thing. Which um, I think you have two FC so far, but you basically need to get at least five to challenge for the women's. Um, Mid card title. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Up on the turnbuckle now. Dunking out of trouble. Did you award those quick shots? Bottom. He's going for a cross body and gets hit with a follow away slam. Um, FC is the, uh, the points you get for um, winning challenge matches. So if you spend a point for a challenge match and you win, you get one FC. Um, or if you win um, uh, uh, basically like a pay per view match, if you win a rivalry. Um, You would get um, four FC for that. And, oh my God! Stutter on TJ Ward. The best way is to probably spam challenge matches, and well, it's hard to say actually. Hard to say what the fastest way is. Oh my god, this is not good for TJ Ward. He's got planted by the seven footer. Did not go for the cover though. Now he's going for the cover. Just wanted some extra shots in there. It, Ward kicked up. That may have been because he took a moment to get into position for the pin. And a spear. The spear. Leg is hooked. Powers out after a one. Champ up top. And a shooting star. Ward getting all these shots in on Trevor Knox. TJ Ward, twist of fate connects. Will that do it? And he got him. TJ Ward retains.
All right, congrats to TJ Ward. <laughs> Retaining his United States Championship in a very um, solid defense. Moving on, though. We are going to find out who the uh, new number one contender for the North American Championship will be. Again, these um, eight competitors were chosen via prestige. It really uh, split the order up of how I had them, though, but... Actually, no, it didn't. It just kind of zigzagged them, huh? Well, anyway, uh, there's not going to be any uh, voting for this match because we have eight competitors. We probably shouldn't be doing votes when we have eight people, right? I mean, we could, but people are just going to be losing points a lot more. But uh, this is the first shot of the North American Championship. And again, um, we still don't know who the uh, who uh, the Women's World Champion will be defending against at uh, Cyber Sunday. We will need to figure that out this upcoming week, most likely. Best of luck to all eight of these women. We saw uh, Angela Sweetness win um, Ignition's uh, eight-woman match earlier this stream. All right, here we go. No entrances. We start now. Expect chaos in this match. Eight superstars at odds to see which one is the best. It's going to be very unpredictable. Oh, crap. These women are destroying each other already. If it was like a pay-per-view match or like a match where we're at least watching the entrances, um, I would uh, I would still put betting on. But if I get Steiner there on Balmer. Again, this is Elimination Rules. This is the second to the final match of the stream. We got the Undisputed Tag Team Championships on the line in the main event. Jack on Rage Heart. Bella going for the cover here. And Adams with a moonsault there on uh, Cheyenne Mannix. Knees in the face. Got the brawl just spilling out all over the arena here. Oh my god. Bomber clearing off the announcer table. Yeah, it's a bummer. I think they like disabled it so the bot could talk to the other bot. Stop. 
to the leg. Insulting. Pain it right back with a reversal. We should have joined the Ministry of Darkness. I'd like the main two answers to be like Kane or Mankind. Spine Buster. Well, that Spine Buster from Jordan Grace got her some redemption. Uh, Eliminating Sophia Balmer. And that pump handle power bomb on Andrea Adams. Almost got her out. Spine buster on um, Cherry Blast as well. Bella buster on Rage Heart. Two pinfalls here. I'm not sure what the ref's counting here. Well, apparently he was going for Rage Heart. Um, Blast may have been eliminated if he counted that first. Kane was a Ministry of Fire. The spear from Adams to to Grace. And oh my god, Grace almost eliminated. The ALT here on Mannix. Now rack backbreaker to Bella. Bella might be out. Adams went for my wrist, didn't get it. And Bella's been eliminated. What Cherry just hit her with? Cherry and Ashley Mannix almost eliminated by Cherry Blast. Well, double vertical suplex to Cherry Blast. Oh my god, look at this. Roundhouse to the face. And oh my god, how close was that? Cherry so close to being eliminated. Nikita Ragehart set up Cherry here. If this hits, she's out. And Cherry, the huge counter. Brain Buster to Rage Heart. Oh my god, that jumping super kick to Grace. Jordan Grace eliminated by that shocking jump kick to the face. Rage Heart made me going for a Yurinagi. At least five women can get a huge opportunity. Legs hooked here. And, oh, so close. Adams and Trio Woe. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, Adams. Adams with a sharpshooter on Cheyenne Mannix. Oh, my goodness. This may be. Hey, Crow. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. That sharpshooter. Is she going to tap? Oh, she did not. The ALT, though, on Ashley Mannix. And Mannix has been eliminated by Cherry Blast. She doesn't even get a count of one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. He's going to try again. Get that instant replay ready. And the corner now. Tagged with a punch. Whoa, just drop kick to the back of the head. Cherry's doing so well here. Of 
but not on that one. Oh, that was interesting. A rage art. Kick to the face. And Adams eliminated by rage art. We are down to three women here. Looks like we're just down to two, but uh, Cherry Blast is... Just taking a nap over there. German suplex there. Well, that's not nice, Jerry. And oh my god. This is not good for Cherry Blast. The disarmer from Cheyenne Mannix. And she submits. Cherry was doing so well, but Cheyenne Mannix making her submit. We're down to two women here. She's into the ring again. Oh my god, she caught her. She caught her. The disarmer again. And she taps. Cheyenne Mannix will face the North American champion Taryn Burnstorm next week. Congrats to Cheyenne Mannix. She'll get a shot at that North American Championship. Time for the main event of the stream, though. I forgot to change their entrance, but you know, it is what it is. Undisputed Tag Team Championships on the line. The Blood Brothers have won these tag titles. Or have won uh, tag titles in general more times than any team in FTU history. Paul Justice and uh, Triple H. Actually, uh, Triple H has probably been tag champs in our universe. Anyway, place your bets. Paul Justice uh, and Triple H won uh, this opportunity on Ignition.
They are ready for a fight. You win these, you make a case as one of the best teams ever. All righty. The Undisputed Tag Team Championships on the line. Interesting to see who will gain the early advantage for their team in this match for the tag and, Oh, my God. He started it off with a cutter. The quickest way to up, he's big. wow, he really took Kraft down there, huh? And Storm trying to get Triple H off the top rope there. Oh Exploder suplex. <laughs> suplex. And um, betting has been closed. Uh, for the stream pretty much <laughs> looks like 69% of the betting was for the Blood Brothers 31 for the Kings of Justice it's a couple nice nice and belly to belly Crafting a lot of damage in the early goings. Probably best he gives Brett a chance to get the Blood Brothers back in this before Kraft takes more damage. We do have a lot of uh, more big matches coming up this next week on um, an FTU. Of course, we have War Warzone's going to be an amazing, um, oh, this does not look good. amazing card as well. Look we'll at Brett Storm now. That figure four leg lock around the ring post. You don't see Brett utilizing this much, but sort of pain that inflicts on your leg. Check this out. Just deadlift it up into a power bomb. But uh, we, of course, do have uh, Angela Sweetness going to be facing Akira Blade for the Impact Championship. Should Akira retain that championship, will be open season. People will be able to spend uh, channel points if they are uh, in the women's division of Ignition. Um, most likely it'll be 6,000 channel points, though. But it will be a direct title shot if you spend the points. In order of who um, challenges first. That channel point option is not available right now, so if anyone's looking, wondering where it is, it um, I'll make it appear if uh, Akira successfully retains. Which uh, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow too, you guys. So um, at the matches I'm talking about are going to be happening tomorrow, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh my God, Storm heard me say he doesn't use this move much. Not doing it to Triple H, re-tear his quads. 
God, that move's got to suck to receive. But uh, also, of course, we do have Q Money. We'll be facing Josh Evans for the Roulette Championship. Cheyenne Mannix will be facing uh, Taryn Burnstorm for the North American Championship. <laughs> Stop spamming. <laughs> course we do need to figure out um who the next challenger for the united states championship will be and both um brett storm and so uh should be pretty interesting suplex A clothesline to the back of the head. Mike cut out. How long was it cut out? Oh, snake eyes. All justice has been busted open. Quick to kick up, though. Thirty minutes. This watched me like Snoop Dogg stream when his mic was off for like four hours and he didn't know. All justice, Frankensteiner. Can I mention Brett? We got Brett uh, with um, the mute button. Well, the Emperor's sword to Triple H. We got the rope. The ref did not even see that either. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Oh, Turn your lights out. Tagged into the action. Oh, my God. The spear as soon as Brett got into the ring. And there's the save. Paul Justice keeps saving Triple H. Well, there goes Justice. And the Stormbreaker gets caught by Triple H. It spine on the pine. Leg is hooked. Oh my god, how close was that? How close was that? Triple H and Brett Storm is brawling. You see Kraft is taking apart Paul Justice out there. Kraft is removing Justice from the match. Kraft does not want Justice in this match. Well, Brett Storm has busted open Triple H. Oh my god. Oh my god. Power bomb to the floor on Storm. He gets tagged in. It's a brutal brutal move, but the challengers of course should not win via countout. They would lose their opportunity at these tag titles. Picking up a win over the champions will give them nothing other than a bragging right. Tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. 
Oh my god, as soon as Storm got back in the ring, that shining wizard that needed the face, Storm's been busted open. Storm's been busted open. And how close was that? Looking to finish him off now. Kraft needs to save his partner. Face first. That's how they got to this match. Kraft needs to save his partner, and he does. A nice counter by Storm. It, well, that was interesting. Storm trying to get Justice over to his corner to make the tag. Perhaps do a double team in the pro process. This is intense. And Fisherman Brain Buster. I think Krath is the only one not bleeding in this match. Once upon a time, that would like never be true because Krath was always the first person to bleed. Krath, big shots to justice. Brett Storm up top. And that flying elbow does not connect. Brett Storm's in trouble. Brett Storm is in absolute trouble here. And that running kick to the face to Storm. Triple H looking to put Brett Storm away. He's got Storm. It going for the pedigree. Storm counters. And the tag's made to both men. Oh, he's got him up. He's got him up. The soul kick. The soul kick connects to Justice. Triple H is back up, though. Triple H. Triple H, the oh my God, He's going for it again. Well, he just countered the the soul kick that time. I mean, Brett both have cutter. What a brutal tag match. Absolutely deserving to be the main event. The stomping on that hand of Kraft. Kraft, you need to counter something. Tagging in the game. Kraft has not countered anything in a minute, man. That was a brutal stomp on the face. Kraft crawling. He needs to make the tag. Will he get it? And he gets it. Krath dumping Justice to the ring apron. He needs to get him out of the ring so Krath can recover. That actually will do, too. I thought he was going to fall on Kraft. Slam. Outside the ring. All these guys have taken so much damage. I feel like anyone at this point can be pinned. And 
In the ring post. That's a seven count. That's a seven count. Shades of the old glitch. Nope. That's an eight count. Storm back in the ring. And Storm breaks the count. That's a that's a champion right there. This ma match has been really good. I just don't want it to end off the count out. In the ring post again. The count out, brothers. Well, Just is taking a lot of damage now. Brett Storm going up top. Justice in trouble. And the flying elbow misses again. Justice capitalizing. Face first goes Storm. Face first goes Storm. His foot's under the rope. Krath was already there, though. Look at the stare down. Oh, nice counter by Krath. Another little stare down. Oh, my God. He got the super kick that time. Red Storm up top. The Stormy Ascent. Leg is hooked. And Storm disposes of Triple H. Going up top again. Storm up top again. That elbow drop hasn't been doing well tonight, but it connects now. It connects now. Leg is hooked. One. Two. And he kicked up again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? At the Tequila Sunrise. Tequila Sunrise. I think that's it. I don't. He has nowhere to go. He can't reach the rope. Center of the ring. Paul Justice is going to have to tap here. And he does. The Blood Brothers retain. Alrighty. Congrats, uh, V Drippy, who's, uh, who won that uh, 322. Alrighty. Um, I forgot the stream crashed at one point. Wait, did it? Wait, it didn't crash, did it? Did the stream crash? Oh, no, it, it, it lagged out and I had to reset it. Which uh, was somehow less infuriating because it was just my internet just going bad. I mean, it's been it's been uh, pissing me off that it's the same uh, game glitch that's killing the app. But um, yeah, we got some big matches coming up. Um, if uh, the tag titles are not on the line at, um, at on Cyber Sunday, then they will be defended um, on the next um, same sort of situation like we just did. But um, but yeah, uh, the tag division is pretty thin right now. So uh, people that want to get a shot at the tag titles, it's probably the best time to do it. But um, yeah, that was a, that was a lot of fun. We had a lot of great matches, and um, I'm planning on streaming tomorrow. I'm most likely going to need a nap after work tomorrow because uh, I'm not going to get too much sleep today as it stands. I, I'm, I'll probably get at best I'll get five hours of sleep before work tonight, and I'm really tired. So um, yeah, we had a lot of great matches. That was uh, a lot of fun. 
Um, we're not going to have as many multi-person matches tomorrow. Um, I felt bad about having so many. We have one big multi-man match planned, which uh, it's a five-way for the United States Championship number one contender spot. But um, um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll keep you guys posted about when the, the start time will be. Um, I am going to probably need a nap after work tomorrow, though. But GG, guys. Um, should we raid somebody? Jason Muse. Hey, Cal L's on. He, I think he does this too. Mm. It's all good, Crow. It's good. Glad to see you here, buddy. You're the best, Ash. Ash is my buddy. We hang out. All right. Well, take care, everyone. We got a stream tomorrow, too. Hope to see you guys there. GG. Later.